Hi everyone, I am Sreja. Today I will tell you who is the greatest devotee. Sage Narada was known for his chanting Narayana Narayana and he considered himself to be Lord Vishnu's greatest devotee. Once Sage Narada visited Lord Vishnu at Vaikunda and during their conversation Narada asked, O oh Narayana, who is your greatest devotee? Narada was fully confident of hearing the answer he wished to hear. But Lord Vishnu thought for a while and then told, My greatest devotee is a poor farmer who lives in a small village of India. Narada couldn't believe his ears. His pride was hurt. O oh Narayana, how is that possible? I always think of you, chanting your names in every second of my life. It was early in the morning. Vishnu took Narada to a cottage where they found that farmer sleeping. As the day broke, the farmer woke up, joined his hands in prayer and said, Narayana, Narayana. Watch this devotee the whole day and then come back and meet me, said Lord Vishnu and left. The farmer got ready and left for his field. Narada followed him. The farmer ploughed his land under the hot sun the whole morning. Narada thought he hasn't chanted the Lord's name even once. The farmer took a break to have lunch. Before eating, he said, Narayana, Narayana. After finishing his lunch, the farmer continued to plough the land. And in the night, before he went to sleep, the farmer chanted, Narayana, Narayana. After witnessed the whole day of the farmer, Narada returned to Vaikunda. The next day, Narada met Lord Vishnu. So Narada, do you still have the doubt that farmer is my greatest devotee? Narada was hurt. Lord, the farmer walked the whole day. He chanted your name only three times. When he wake up in the morning, before having his lunch in the afternoon and before he went to sleep, but I chant your name all the time. Why do you consider him as your greatest devotee? Lord Vishnu said with a smile, We will discuss this later. First, I want you to go on an errand for me. Here is a pot full of oil. I want you to carry it on your head and go around the whole world once and bring it back to me. But make sure you don't even spill a single drop of oil. Narada was confused at this strange task, but it wasn't every day that the Lord requested his help. It was his chance to perform the task perfectly and prove his devotion. Narada promptly started his journey around the world. The pot of oil balanced carefully on his head. It was filled up to the brim. All his attention did not spill even a single drop. Many days went by. Sage Narada finally completed his journey and came back to Lord Vishnu. He was beyond himself with joy. He handed the bowl back to Vishnu and proudly claimed that not a single drop had been spilled. Lord Vishnu looked at him loudly and asked, So Narada, how many times did you think of me during your journey? Narada felt stuck for a while. I was so focused on balancing the pot that I forgot to think about the Lord's name. His voice shivered in a shame. Lord Vishnu said, The farmer in the village is also carrying out the task I set for him. He works hard in his field from dawn to dusk to earn a modest living. But he never forgets to think of me three times every day, even on his worst days. That's why he is my best devotee. Sage Narada felt humbled and inspired by the poor old farmer's devotion to the Lord. Thus, Lord Vishnu eliminates the ego of Sage Narada as the greatest devotee of Lord Vishnu. There is a moral behind this story. We have to learn to chant in all situations in our life. That's all for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the story. Thank you.